So I'm sure like myself, you're finding yourself with more and more devices that need charging up. We think about mobile phones, tablets, and other devices like that. And I'm sure that if you're like me, if a charger leaves the house, chances are it doesn't seem to return to the house again. They so easily get lost, it seems, in my life. So perhaps we're finding as well that when we go to maybe hotel rooms or places like that, we may see a socket outlet with a built-in USB charger, and you think, I want Clover. You can leave the charger in the bag, that's not going to get lost, and plug your USB lead in to charge up happy days. So you leave it plugged in overnight, and then you wake up the next morning and you find that perhaps your mobile device has increased its percentage battery by perhaps 2 or even 3%. Clearly, that's just not good enough. So why is it that some charging devices don't seem to charge as quickly? And how can we make sure that we've got plenty of charging points around? Well, we're going to look at a solution to both of those questions in this video. And we've got them right here in front of us. We can see here we've got two sockets that have been made by Knightsbridge. And they are absolutely beautiful, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, what's nice about these is that they don't just include a USB charging point but each one includes a fast charge USB charging point. So let's look at the socket first. You can see here that it is screwless on the front there. You've got this front panel that just clips into place after you've screwed the chassis on, and uh, that makes it a nice streamlined look. It looks really effective. And also, it's got this lovely brushed chrome finish. Now, this brushed chrome finish comes with different colored inserts, so you can get this with uh, black inserts, gray inserts, or white inserts, which is really nice. But we've also got this beautiful matte black finish as well, which looks absolutely excellent. But we've also got this rather lovely white outlet. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a white outlet, Joe. How can that be described as anything but functional? Well, actually, what's really nice about this, and it's fairly unique, actually, is that that's actually a metal front plate, and it's got this lovely matte white finish on it. And that's quite unusual, actually, and, and quite unique. And I really like that. I think that looks really quite cool. So, uh, yeah, that might be something that I think about getting in my house when I start changing some sockets over. Now, one of the things that you might notice that is ever so slightly different about this device is you can see here you've got this C-type outlet on the matte white finish here. Now, this is available in both finishes on both types of socket. And this C-type outlet is quite an interesting one and one that we'll cover in another video because we may be familiar with this charging outlet. We may have seen this perhaps on our devices when we charge them up. However, it's not that common yet to see it on an actual outlet point. However, it's likely that over the next few years, you'll be seeing an increasing amount of this C-type USB outlet on your charging devices. However, the really clever thing, as we said, is this fast charge outlet. Because if you plug your mobile device or your tablet into this fast charge port here, it's going to give you 50% of your charge for your device in about 30 minutes. And that's when you're charging from a starting point of one or 2%. And your device will charge up three times faster than it would on a standard USB socket outlet delivering five volts at just one ampere. So that's obviously gonna help us out increasing the speed that our charging takes place at. But what do we mean by this term fast charge? Well, that word is not just kind of a, a random statement. You can't just whack fast charge on something and expect it to behave quicker. Although some manufacturers do do this, they claim that their sockets are fast charging for USB outlets, and yet they only deliver the standard power of 5 watts, which is clearly not going to improve the charging rate of your device. So to be truly fast charging, your USB charging point has to conform to certain standards, one of which is the USB PD or the Qualcomm Quick Charge. So there's a couple of standards there that kind of oversee fast charging socket outlets. Now, in order to take advantage of a fast charging USB point, both the device and the charger need to conform to one of those standards. When we plug a device in to a charge point, a kind of dialogue takes place between the charger and the device that you're wanting to charge up, and they kind of check with each other that they're both capable of delivering and receiving fast charge. However, the good news is if you plug a non-fast charging device, like a mobile phone or a tablet, into a fast charge outlet, like the one we've got here, what we actually find is that the device won't be damaged, the charger won't be damaged, it'll just charge up at the normal rate, because this has very clever technology built into it that actually controls the charging rate, and it controls two of the different qualities of the electricity in order to achieve that. So how exactly does it work? Well, really, this boils down to power transfer. The power transfer from the charging device to the device that is being charged up. It's a question of how much power the charging device can deliver 
and also how much power the device that you want to charge up can receive. So let's just do a little experiment to see how these perform differently. So we've set up our little test rig here. You can see we've got the mobile device, which is what we're going to be charging up. We've got a couple of different types of charger. And of course, we've got our Knightbridge socket with the inbuilt fast charge USB point. Now, this device up here, when we connect this up, is going to tell us how much current and voltage is being drawn by the device when it starts charging up. Now I'm using a Samsung product here to charge up. Apple products behave a little bit differently with their charging protocol and it's generally speaking the device that will define how much power gets transferred. However, with modern iPhones with the proper certified charger cables, there's still an opportunity to take advantage of optimum charge rates for those devices. But let's just look at the difference in the charging systems that we've got here. So as we said before, when we connect the charging device to the mobile device or whatever it is that we're charging, a kind of dialogue takes place between the two of them to check that they're fast charge compatible. So if I plug into the charger that actually came with the mobile device, what we'll see in this case is that it goes into fast charging mode. So you can see there that that is now fast charging. If I take this and instead connect it into uh, just a random charger that I found lying around the house, if I plug that in now, you can see that it just goes into charging mode. So it's not actually in fast charging because again, that dialogue has clearly shown that this device does not deliver fast charging capability. And just for the sake of uh, completeness, we'll plug into the fast charge USB outlet on the Knightsbridge socket. And you can see there it goes into fast charging mode. So that is starting to charge up quite nicely now. So let's see what's actually happening inside our power supply leads here. So what we'll do is we'll plug in our testing device. So this is just a little USB uh, device that actually measures various elements of the electricity uh, that supply our mobile device here. So when we plug this in, it's basically going to be measuring the voltage and the current that flows through here and down here. It actually also will measure how much power is being transferred because that really is the key to this. Hopefully we remember from our college days that if we want to know how much power something is using, we have to take the voltage being applied to it and multiply it by the current that's being applied to it. So if we now connect that up into there like so, what we should find is that this now goes into fast charging mode on the device. And you can see here that it's drawing 13 watts. So nearly 13.1 watts there. So you can see that the voltage has gone up to eight volts and the current is 1.63 amperes that's drawing there. So that's drawing a little bit more voltage and current than it will do if instead of connecting the mobile device to the fast charge socket, if we connect it to the slow charging device here, we can see it just goes into normal charge mode. You can see there it's just charging, it's not in fast charge. You can see there that the voltage is now at 4.8 volts and we're not even drawing one amp, we're drawing about 0 0.78, 0 0.79 amperes through our lead there. And the power has dropped right down to 3.8 watts, so not even four watts. So that is the key point really to understanding this. Devices that contain fast charge technology, like the Knightsbridge socket, will allow more power to be transmitted to the device that you want to charge up. So just some nice additional features relating to this socket. They're designed to be fitted into 25 to 35 mil deep back boxes, depending on wiring conditions, which is really helpful when it comes to retrofitting these into existing installations. The switches on the front are also double pole. Now that's really good because a lot of USB sockets that are on the market at the moment only have single pole switches. So having that double pole option is super helpful. Of course, the sockets are also manufactured to the latest BS1363 standard, which at the time of recording is BS1363-2 2016. And it's also been manufactured to conform with the EMC requirements EN62368-1 and EN62680-1-1. 
Now what's really interesting is that these devices are also ERP ready, so energy related product ready. So what that means is that when you're not charging up from the socket, they're not sitting there guzzling up loads of energy with the transformer that steps the voltage down to the required level. So that means that it's a really efficient socket as well, which is really good for the environment and also of course for the end user. And finally, the socket has been manufactured to comply with over voltage category three. So some lovely additional features there for us just to think about. So we've seen that this lovely socket from Knightsbridge has this built-in fast charging USB point which is going to speed up your charge times. So we don't need to worry any longer about losing charging devices. We definitely don't need to worry about slow charging rates as long as we're installing Knightsbridge.